you know, three times before. And this was during his long-standing feud with Bob Barker. And uh, when, the, when the feud ended, their friendship began. And that's pretty much how their partnership began with the Zoot Suits. But for The Undertaker, he's been champion uh, mostly in real life. A five-time world champion, having won the World Heavyweight Championship three times and the WWE Champion twice. Championship, sorry. Or was it... I think he was... Actually, I counted. Uh, it, it's actually six championships. Sorry, he's he's been uh, WWE champion uh, three times and been World Heavyweight champion three times. So yeah, I apologize for miscounting, but still, that's an impressive number of championships that the Undertaker has won. And like I said before, Mr. Rogers has been champion, world champion three times before, and this was long before we started televising these matches. And this was a part of his long-standing feud with Bob Barker, as I mentioned before. But let's just get down to the match itself. For Mr. Rogers, he's got to, you know, you know, slow the pace. Or actually, it's for both men, actually. It's, it's more of a chess match. It's whoever makes the, it's whoever makes the first mistake that's going to lose the match. I mean, so there's little room for error for both men, for both men. An armbar right to Mr. Rogers, but of course Mr. Rogers is very resilient, so he's not going to just lie down for you. No pun intended. A scoop and a slam right to the Undertaker. So yeah, Mr. Rogers was uh, given the status of. Uh, of number one contender, you know, after the original number one contender, Mario, left for the for the Republic. And, uh, I mean, sure, Mario could have stayed, but, uh, but the Republic, you know, they recruited him and they needed him. And, uh, Mario just decided to put his, uh, championship ambitions to the side for a little bit. And this is, and that's what allowed Mr. Rogers to become the de facto number one contender. If Mr. Rogers wins, uh, the champions that were going in, uh, Mr. Rogers was the Intercontinental Champion, and the Undertaker was the World Champion. If Mr. Rogers wins, then the champion, then the champions will exchange title belts, meaning uh, Mr. Rogers would become the World Champion, and Undertaker would take over as the Intercontinental Champion. But if Mr. Rogers loses, he doesn't win the he doesn't win the heavyweight championship of the world, and he loses the Intercontinental Championship, which will then be decided in a match uh, later on tonight. That that is if if at all possible. And we still have uh, the United States and the ECW Championship also on the line. Uh, that'll take place a, a match before the. Survivor Series Tournament Finals, which will be like two matches after this, so, but right now this is what it's all about. A cross arm breaker, an Undertaker uh, gets out of it though. Oh yeah, and I, I almost forgot to mention, to win this match, you can win one of three ways. You can win by pinfall, submission, or by causing your opponent to bleed. So while pinfalls or submissions, yeah, while pinfalls and submissions count only in the ring, first blood will count anywhere. And with that said, there is no, there are no countouts and there are no disqualifications. So just keep that in mind, folks. Right now, the Undertaker has this matching in control. A full Nelson right to Mr. Rogers but not quite enough to put him away. 
a forearm. And another cross arm breaker. And there is no rope break, so Undertaker's going to have to break the hold it himself. And an arm smash. Or an elbow smash, rather, excuse me. Ooh, and a huge punch right to Undertaker. And another big punch. Whipped into the corner. Countered by Mr. Rogers. Whipped into the ropes. Elbow right to the head. And a super hip toss onto Mr. Rogers. I mean, so far, Mr. Rogers has taken a lot of punishment. I don't think he can take any more at the rate that The Undertaker's going. Ooh, and a massive uh, uppercut right to The Undertaker. Uh-oh, this is not good for The Undertaker. Pile driver right to The Undertaker. Oh, this usually sets up the neighborhood slam. Neighborhood slam onto The Undertaker and a pinfall cover. One, two, no, kick out. I had to expect that from The Undertaker. The Undertaker just has an extra tank that just keeps him from, you know, losing a match. That, you know, I mean, Undertaker is, you know, hard to beat. I mean, uh, Mario was able to beat him, but, you know, it took a lot of work on the part of Mario, so it's going to take a little bit more work on the part of Mr. Rogers to keep The Undertaker down. A side headlock takedown and another pinfall cover. One, two, no. I mean, Mr. Rogers is closing in on victory. He just cannot uh, allow his emotions to get the better of him. And he can't make that mistake. The same mistake that costed Bruce Lee a match. The Or, yeah, Bruce Lee the title, the WWE title against MG Blue. A full Nelson right to The Undertaker... Undertaker, yeah, still a little too strong, but he, it, but slowly but surely he's weakening. It's weakening. Ugh, it's weakening him. I apologize for screwing up my vocabulary. Another scoop and a slam. So yeah, uh, Mr. Rogers can't make the same kind of mistake that Bruce Lee did in the match earlier. That's what I was trying to say. And another scoop and another slam. So now it's The Undertaker that's making his move. A kick to the leg. A back suplex. Then a running drop kick right to the head of Undertaker. Uh-oh, Undertaker. A forearm. Whipped into the corner. Uh-oh, set up in a tree of woe. Well, whatever whatever Undertaker was going to do, he hits a he hits a, ugh, a DDT right to Mr. Rogers. I apologize for that. Uh-oh. This is not good for Mr. Rogers. The last ride. And oh no. Mr. Rogers is in deep trouble. He's going to set him up for it. Tombstone pile driver. And, well, now Undertaker's making another mistake, or he's making the same mistake that, uh, that Bruce Lee did, but he has a chair, and he hits Mr. Rogers in the head with it. And by first blood, Undertaker is still the champion, but he could have... But that could have easily backfired on him if he had not gone for the cover. By not going for the cover, rather, excuse me. He It would have backfired, but Undertaker decided to bloody up Mr. Rogers and remain the world heavyweight champion. And Mr. Rogers is has just been busted open. 
and is going to need some medical attention, but the winner and still world heavyweight champion, The Undertaker. And, and Mr. Rogers just cannot get back up on his feet. He's lost a lot of blood with that chair shot. Well, 